Weight can be a very touchy subject, especially if you're concerned about a loved one packing on pounds. Do you dare say something? Well, experts say there is no benefit in voicing your concerns, and it actually can cause more weight gain. But most family and friends who speak up are just truly concerned. So is it ever okay to tell a loved one that they should lose weight? All right. Let's get right to your comments. I hope the mic was working. We might have had some difficulties. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, Barb from Facebook says, I'm a proud, curvy woman, and recently my son has started to voice concerns about my health. I know it's because he loves me and wants to be around forever. I might be on my way to a healthier lifestyle because of him. Go, Barb. I think that's important to share that in a nice way with your friends or family. Hey, do you want to work out with me? There's a nice way to ask people if they want to get healthy. My mom just said, though, if she got a text from my dad saying you need to lose some weight, she wouldn't speak to him for a month. <laughs> from my grandmother, she would take the advice. <laughs> A month? Yeah. Dude. Ooh, that's long Harsh time. coming from a, a husband or a wife. Ooh. Yeah, it's different. Don't different. Try. It's a long time different. sleeping on the couch. All right. <laughs> Diane from YouTube says, yeah, only if you're a doctor or a nutritionist. If you're naturally thin and have never struggled with weight, please shut up and keep to yourself. Uh, I don't, I, I, I can't clap to that. I am. Because look, what if you have one of those friends that, you know, are, are a little overweight, but constantly complains, constantly says, oh, I would love that dress, but I, I can't fit in it because I'm, I'm fat. But constantly eats a Whopper, not even the Impossible Whopper, a real Whopper, and, and, and like I said, constantly complaining. It's on you as a friend to say something and to offer some sort of help to that friend, I feel okay, like. Okay, that's fair. Tori I disagree. I completely <laughs> different, disagree. Uh, David from Facebook says, yes, you don't want them to be unhealthy, much like Brandon was saying. Sometimes you don't know you're gaining weight, and before you know it, it's out of control. I keep up with my weight every week. I used to be uh, 80 pounds overweight, so I watch my weight. David, thanks for writing in an awesome job on the uh, weight loss. Look, when you're overweight, and I've been overweight, my family has been overweight, you know you're overweight, you see it. The one thing you don't want is a friend, the one support you have to say something because you're gonna eat your feelings, you're gonna gain more weight, they don't know the circumstances, it has a lot to do with other things. I think it's a dreadful idea. Now, family members, totally different. Friends, Stay off my back. But what if you're the one to motivate the person back. to change their whole lifestyle? That's they could dedicate their entire life change to you. If you're a coach, awesome. If you're a friend, that's not what I want my friends for. What do you What do you want your friends to just sit there and let you eat yourself to death? No, to no. I needed to change within myself. It couldn't have come from a friend. It needed to be from Tori deep within. And if you had said something or you had said something, I would have gone deeper into my food hole. I don't believe that. that some thing? people, some thing. people want to change within themselves, but at the I'm same time, they're I too scared not. to take that jump. You need that little push. Trust me, when you're overweight, you know it, you feel it. Your pants hurt every second of the day. You're thinking about it constantly, of sucking in your stomach. Someone else saying it is not going to help you, in my opinion. All right, let's see what Linda thinks. Linda from Facebook says, telling someone their fat is only causing more emotional issues. Mm -hmm. They need a gentle talking to about what's causing the problem. Talk to them about those issues or help them find a counselor to talk to about it. And I think that's the first step, talking about it. But I think being a good friend and also suggesting let's get healthy together, even like a program, a challenge. Yeah. Like, it's like a 10-day challenge. is also nice. Tori, you've asked me to come work out with you. That's I'm true, not that's, offended. That's because I just didn't want to work out alone. <laughs> that's very true. And I don't that's want to work nice. out in general. Yeah.